a couple of years ago, my best friend, a very experienced critical care nurse, was getting ready to retire. She called me on Thursday night and said, I think I'm sick. We decided she had the flu. I said, I think you should go to the walk-in clinic. She called me on Friday and said, uh, I might be getting better, but I still feel really bad. And I said, I think you should go to the walk-in clinic. She called me on Saturday and said, I can't get up out of my chair. And I said, I think you should go to the emergency room. I went to her house. She couldn't answer her own front door. I let myself in. Fortunately, I had a key. We went to the Vanderbilt emergency room where they assessed her and found she had low blood pressure. She had a fever. She had low oxygen in her blood and she needed immediate emergent medical care. They started antibiotics, they started fluids, and they admitted her to the medical ICU. She was in the hospital for two and a half weeks. She recovered. She was very fortunate that she was able to get early, rapid medical care, and the emergency room at Vanderbilt and the medical ICU saved her life. My friend was an experienced critical care nurse. She knew about sepsis. She'd cared for hundreds of patients with sepsis and yet didn't recognize the signs and symptoms when she had them herself.